welcome back. President Trump is preparing to ban flavored e-cigarettes nationwide after a six person died from a vaping related illness. Vaping has become a very big business, but we can't allow people to get sick and we can't have our youth be so affected. And of course, there are so many questions about this story. What is causing so many people to get sick? Why is it happening right now? And then on the political side, what is this announcement actually going to do? So let's take a deep dive. So first, let's start with the backstory. The CDC is investigating more than 450 lung illnesses linked to vaping. In California alone, 63 people got sick, and across the country, six people have died. It all started just this summer, and California public health leaders say their investigation began in June. No one has figured out what's causing these mystery illnesses, but most cases are linked to vaping THC products bought from street vendors or at pop-up vape shops, aka unlicensed and unregulated businesses, which brings us to President Trump's announcement. He's considering a ban on flavored e-cigarettes, which have taken off among teens and young adults. That's why back in April, Sacramento leaders voted to ban the sale of flavored products starting in 2020. San Francisco has also banned them too, 